Hey everyone, welcome to today's Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show the easiest way to make a hyperzoom effect inside Adobe After Effects. First, I'm gonna drag the footage to the timeline. Now, let's see what footage I'm gonna use to make a hyperzoom effect. You can choose the footage like a narrow street or something like that for the hyperzoom effect. It is time to change the footage duration, so right click on it and go to the time to choose the time stretch. Time remapping is another option to change the footage duration. Our footage duration is 30 seconds. Now we can change the stretch factor from 100 to 20. It made some changes. Let me play the video by hitting the space key. As we're gonna make the hyper zoom effect, so let's make it a bit faster. Again, go to the time stretch and change the stretch from 20 to 10. Now we can play the video, it looks faster than before. So guys it is time for the final touch and that is the motion blur. Now we have to go to the effects section and search for the motion blur effect. We have two effects here, both effects are perfect for natural motion blur. In this tutorial, I'm gonna use the pixel motion blur effect so let's apply this effect to the video on the timeline. Well now click on the arrow icon to expand the effect controls. I'll change the shutter angle value to 360. You can set it from 180 to 360 which is standard. If you have a look at the video, we can see it is not perfect. We can see the frames of the video. To fix this issue, we can set the shutter sample to around 30. Again have a look at the composition, now it's look better. To render this effect, you have to hit the space key on the keyboard. I hope you really enjoy this hyperzoom tutorial. You can seamlessly join hyperzoom videos through masking and other transition to make a cinematic video. Thank you for watching this tutorial, you can watch other tutorials on this channel. I'll be back in the next video, till then, goodbye.